Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing a Yamaha guitar. Um, yeah, let's start. Uh, it's the Pacifica 112V. I suppose the V stands for vintage or something like that. 112 is, well, it's a single coil, single coil, and a double coil humbucker. Um, yeah, these guitars came about uh, in the early 90s, late 80s, and they were, when they marketed these guitars, they really were um, attacking Squire. Because Squire back in the day were making guitars out of plywood. And, uh, well, so they basically had a picture showing this, uh, the see-through color of this one. That it was proper wood. And um, yeah. But uh, I've talked about plywood guitars before, and I'm not sure that that's really a bad thing. They can actually be good, and they can save a lot of trees, actually. So, well, well. Uh, it is, of course, a strat copy. It's not trying to hide it in any way. Um, and yeah, it shares, well, the basic strat specs. Um, yeah, let's start going through it. We have, uh, of course, the uh, maple neck. As on any strat guitar, uh, we have a Roswell fin fingerboard. A nice, thick, looks high quality, actually, Rosewood. And we have an older body. In this case, in a very nice uh, see-through natural finish. And as I said, the two single coils, a humbucker, a vintage style, strat, tremolo, master volume, master tone, and that's a uh, coil split as well, and a five-way switch. So there's no rocket science here. We have... Uh, I should mention this, of course. I always talk about the tuners. Proper, reliable, solid tuners. What do you think? Yeah. So, yeah. It's a meat and potatoes guitar. It's very simple in construction, but it's also very functional in construction. It is. It has the strat body, but it's, I don't know, it's a little bit more square and, I don't know, like it or hate it, it it feels it feels like a strat, it really does. I give it an eight for materials and hardware, and uh, it's made in Indonesia. Here we go again. And the build-wise, I have nothing bad to say about it at all. Uh, it's yeah, there's nothing wrong. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, <laughs> it's so well built, uh, it's put together, the, n the neck sits so tight in the neck pocket, all the screws are where they are supposed to be, uh, it's a very good guitar, build-wise. If you want to be really, really picky, then the, the cover of the tremolo uh, springs is on top of the body, but the cover of the electronics is countersunk into the body. Um, yeah, it's just being picky, stupid. Most people will probably remove the trem spring cover anyway, so... Yeah, it, and it's not something that's wrong. It's a really good and well-made guitar. We have uh, uh, jumbo frets actually on this one. And that's not a very strat thing. And the fretboard radius is very flat. So it's a 12 inch radius. Uh, both of those are made to yeah, make the guitar more playable. Build quality and durability, I give it a nine. I don't know what, what will go wrong with this guitar. What can break? I don't know. It seems so solid and well built. Yeah, playability, let's talk about that. The neck is, I mean, compared to a regular uh, Strat neck, it's very, very close. It's slightly bigger, actually. 
And that is, since if you flatten the radius of, uh, of uh, the fingerboard, you have to compensate that by making the neck wider. It's like if you take a paper, let's explain this. If you have a radius like this, the neck is this wide. And if you flatten it out, the neck gets this wide. It's very simple. Um, and that... And they kept, basically kept the thickness of a regular Strat neck, so it's slightly bigger than a regular Strat. Love it or hate it. Um, so I'm going to give it a 7 for playability, because I think... Yeah, they could have made the neck slightly thinner, actually. If you ask me, and I'm doing the review, so I say whatever I want. Uh, okay, electronics, uh, yeah. The only thing about the electronics, I mean, the pickups and the switch is nice. Um, and the volume knob is nice as well. Uh, but the tone knob is feels really flimsy. It's not, doesn't feel solid at all. And I don't know why. And it's such a big difference between the volume and the tone knob. Because the, tone knob uh, the volume knob seems really solid and reliable. So I don't know, Yamaha. Maybe change the way you make your tone knobs. It works, though. But, yeah. Gives you a feeling of non-reliability. So I give it a 7 for electronics. Everything else works great. Okay. It's time to hear it. Let's play something. I'll start with a clean sound. <laughs> Let's turn on the overdrive. <laughs> Thank you. 
let's try some high gain lead sound. Okay, um, yeah, I think the pickups are great, actually. Uh, and you get a lot of tonal vari variety. This is a very versatile guitar. You can get any sound you want, basically. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah. Eight. Very good, Yamaha. Um, yeah, it's a kind of bright, but you can, I mean, you have a tone knob, so you can turn that down if you want to, but. I'd rather have it bright. It's easier to control a bright guitar than to add brightness to a guitar that doesn't have it. So, yeah. Great. Um, yeah. What can I say? It's a good guitar. Uh, it's not... It, they have a slightly cheaper one, actually, I think, besides this one. But this is also very, uh, very affordable. So I give it a... It, get 7.8 as a total and well yeah great guitar buy this one uh, you won't need another guitar uh, and it will probably last a lifetime um, yeah I recommend it really do okay this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the Yamaha Pacifica 112 V Hope you found this useful. See you soon. Bye.